Consciousness is the only thing we truly know exists. But how does a three-pound lump of flesh generate the experience of the color red, the taste of coffee, or the feeling of love? This is the hard problem. And while we don't have a final answer, mathematicians and neuroscientists are getting closer by turning subjective experience into cold, hard numbers. The leading mathematical theory is integrated information theory proposed by neuroscientist Giulio Tononi. Its core is a number, phi. Phi measures how much a system is more than just the sum of its parts. Think of a photo. A million pixels have information, but only when they are integrated in a specific way do you see a face. Your brain has a very high phi. A rock has almost zero. A computer, no matter how smart, might also have zero because its parts aren't integrated in the right way. Another major idea is the global workspace theory. This isn't one equation, but a model of competition. Imagine your mind is a stage. Sensations, thoughts and memories are all actors competing for the spotlight. Whichever one wins gets broadcast to the entire theatre. Your conscious awareness. The math here is often from dynamics and winner-take-all algorithms, modelling how one signal triumphs over the noise. Here's the brutal problem. Phi is nearly impossible to calculate for something as complex as a human brain. It's a catch-22. To know if the math is right, we need to measure it, but we can't measure it without potentially destroying the system. So, is it a profound truth or just a beautiful philosophy? The debate is fierce, and it gets weirder. If consciousness is just integrated information, could a sufficiently complex system like a computer, or even the internet become conscious, the math doesn't say no. Some physicists, like Max Tegmark, suggest consciousness might be a state of matter, like a solid or liquid. They call it perceptronium, matter configured to process information in an integrated way. The math for this comes from quantum mechanics and information theory, asking what physical properties a system needs to have to be conscious. So, do we have a final equation for consciousness? Not yet. We have powerful candidates like Phi and fascinating models. The quest to mathematically define the self might be the ultimate scientific challenge. What do you think? Is your mind a number? Could an AI ever have a high enough Phi to be considered conscious? No matter what you believe, remember math isn't magic, it's everywhere.